name's Ashley and I'm one of the spinning instructors here at Webbs and I'm going to show you today really briefly how to begin spinning on a drop spindle. Great way to start out is with a spindle that's got a large enough whorl that it'll have a good long spin time. This is a four inch whorl. This spindle is made by Schacht and it's a high low meaning it can either be used as a high whorl or as a low whorl spindle. Great way to begin is with a leader thread. I've got a length of yarn here. I'm gonna double that over. And right at the end here, I'm gonna just create a loop and draw both ends of the yarn through that loop, cinching that right down nice and tight. And then roll a little bit of that onto the spindle. So you have about four or five inches of leader, maybe six or seven, depending on your personal preference. And I'm gonna start by splitting off a little bit of the fiber from the main bunch. And I'm just gonna set that main bunch aside and pre-draft my fibers just a tiny bit, which means I'm gonna pull the fibers out just a little bit and get this bunch just a tiny bit thinner, making sure all my fibers are attenuated or all going in the same direction before I get started. This means that I'm gonna have just a little bit less tugging to do when I get started spinning. Now this end I'm gonna draft out a little thin so that I can get this ready to join up to the spindle. I'm gonna overlap these a little bit so that the leader acts as the beginning of the yarn that I'm about to create. Grabbing the fibers at the very bottom and just lining them up right next to the yarn. Now, I'm gonna pick up the spindle. I'm gonna give it a twist, always in the same direction. So I'm going to deliberately spin clockwise and I've got a nice tight pinch up here on my fiber preventing that twist from rolling into the fibers that I'm about to spin. So I give that a good flick from the bottom and you see how the twist gathers the fibers and kind of wraps them right around that leader yarn. Then I'm actually going to unhook my leader from the spindle and wrap it onto the spindle just a little bit so that I have some overlap so that my notched hooked fibers have a little bit of what I'm about to spin and a little bit of the leader. And then I'm gonna add a little bit more twist and a great beginning technique called park and draft means that I'm going to tuck the spindle between my knees, pinch underneath my existing pinch and back these fibers up a little bit. So I draw them out and then I'm gonna pinch again right on the top of what's left of my leader yarn. Now I'm gonna slowly roll open my bottom fingers and you can see the twist move right up to meet my next pinch. Then it's just a question of repeating what you've already done. Adding a little bit more twist, pausing the spindle, parking it, pinching under the existing pinch, drafting back, pinching again, and then allowing those bottom fingers to roll open. Once I've spun enough yarn, I'm gonna to wanna to wind on the leader thread and then notch my fibers back up around that top hook and keep adding twist. As the fibers get longer and longer and as I naturally get a little bit faster at what I'm doing, the rhythm becomes a little bit more intuitive. When you reach the end of your fibers, getting ready to join more together, you wanna to overlap the fibers. So we draw the fuzzy end out here, and I draw the fuzzy end out here, and I'm just gonna overlap the two. And let a little bit of twist move in here, and that smooths over and covers the joins so it's less obvious. <laughs> 